Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I review Ken dolls every Tuesday, and today I have for you a Ken as well as the matching Barbie in the 1981 fashion jeans line. Ken is number 5316 and Barbie is 5315. <clears throat> I'm going to start reviewing Ken. Barbie was new in box. I took her out of the box to show her on this video. Ken, I got him loose in a lot of Ken dolls. And he has somewhere, he was a played with doll, but he does have his jeans, his fashion jeans. He's wearing this nice white t-shirt, v-neck t-shirt that's not his. He originally had a pink polo shirt, similar to the color of pink that Barbie is wearing. <clears throat> He's also not wearing his original shoes. He had black boots. I put some white sneakers on him from the 1980s. I think they look great with his white t-shirt. Here's his face. He's a 1977 superstar face mold Ken. A lot of these dolls look very similar, but you can tell in the eyes the difference between the dolls. And this is his eyes. He's got very dark brows, blue eyes with a tiny white dot in the center. He's got a big smile and lips that have taken on this light peach color. It was originally pink. I'll put his body markings and head markings in the description. I do that every time I make a video so that you can tell your dolls out in a lot for identification purposes. His hands face to the rear or point to the rear. His arms move up and down. They do not move in and out. He bends at the waist. He has bend and snap legs. Very nice bend and snap legs. But turn him around here. Let me take him out of the doll stand for a second so I can show you his jeans. He, d he did have a belt that came on his pants, but someone removed it. It's this color of blue, plastic, vinyl. The pockets are very thin fabric and they're adhered to the jeans fabric with some kind of um, garment glue or fabric glue. These are in really good condition, the kin here and the pocket on the left has no um, name on it. The jeans have white stitching down the sides, double row of stitching. And that's the Ken doll. Put him back in his doll stand and fix his shirt here. And we'll move on to Barbie. And I'm also going to show you Barbie's box after I finish reviewing her. As I said, she was new in the box. Her hair didn't have an elastic. I think maybe some of the dolls had something around it, but hers, I guess, had disintegrated. But her hair is in really great condition. It's this pretty blonde, like a golden blonde color. Her face makeup is really pretty. I love the screening of these dolls from the 80s. It's very pastel and just really delicate looking. She has very light blue eyeshadow on. Her iris has two colors of blue, a darker blue and a lighter blue. One fleck in the eye. She has no bottom eyelashes. Her lips are more of a pink than Ken's. And she's got two beautiful rhinestone or crystal simulated earrings. Most of the superstar dolls have these earrings as well as a matching ring. You can see here on her hand, her ring. Most of the superstar dolls also had bent arms. As you can see, her skin tone is a light pinkish color. Her arms can move up and down. And I believe her arms also move out. Yes, they do move out somewhat, not a lot. 
She has this nice fuzzy sweater top that was very popular in the 1980s. I had a top that was similar to this, but in blue. She's got a sticker on here that's still attached with her name, her signature there. It's a really pretty top, very nice and clean because she has been in the box. Her pants have a belt, her jeans, and the faux buckle is a mirror finish and it's got a graphic of her look from the graphic illustrations in the 1980s of Barbie. They had that on the booklets, on the boxes, and just about every Barbie graphic had that similar look with the hair all flowing and, and poofy. She's got a pink ribbon type belt. She also has pockets on the back. Pink around them, kins were white, bordering around the edge. Hers is pink with her Barbie name there on the right and no name on the left. Her jeans also have pink piping down the side and functional pink pockets. Well, no, they're not functional. They're stitched there, so she couldn't put her hand inside. They look like they would be functional, but they're not. Then she wears these Western style boots. Let me bring her up closer so I can give you a close look at her boots. They are embossed with a design. There you go, you can see the design. There's the heels. They're not super high. They're probably a medium heel. The toes are slightly pointed. And then if I turn her this way, you can see what looks like is her name inscripted there, but it's kind of backwards for some reason. But I think it's this way on all the dolls, but you can see there, it does look like her name inscripted. She's a beautiful doll. She also has the rhinestone ring on her hand. I think I already showed that, but it's really pretty and it's unusual for these dolls to have their rhinestone jewelry. Since I got her new in the box, she did have it. So let me have you take a view of the box as I move these dolls to the side. It's got this um, multicolored iridescent, uh, looks like a curtain maybe down the back as the backdrop for these two dolls. Fashion jeans, Barbie and Ken. They're king and queen of the jeans scene. It says here, Barbie has extra long hair, designer top, Ken also had a designer top. This is a picture of his top that I was talking about. Looks like a polo shirt, no buttons, but a V-neck. And then his name also here, like Barbie has her name on her top. Here's the belt. His belt, it was a blue color. I showed you that, the back remnant of that. And then a looks like a silvery plastic buckle there. Here's a picture of the jeans in the uh, shoes, boots that they wore, designer boots. It says, uh, Barbie has sparkling jewelry, designer jeans, fashion posability. Dolls may need assistance to assume poses. Number 5315. <clears throat> this side of the box has nothing except at the bottom. Says so she's got the hot fashion look. Box date is 1981. She's made in the Philippines. And then this side, fashion jeans, Barbie at the top. I mean, fashion jeans, Barbie there. When Barbie doll wears a famous name, it's hers, top to toe. So she's wearing her own designer clothes. Here's a picture of her sweater with her name there, her face. 
and a picture of her pocket on her jeans, again with her name as the designer label, Barbie jeans, and Barbie boots that you could see. This gives a better shot of it, and it looks like it's more um, in the right inscription, so it's, it's not backwards, it's frontwards. And then it says Barbie boots here, and the number again. 5315 in Mattel. Down here it says Fashion Jeans Barbie, the most glamorous fashion doll in jeans. And then this is the backdrop up for her in the box. It's got the Barbie logo, the script looking logo from the 1980s, and it's in a pink. Thanks for watching my video. <clears throat> I hope you liked it. If you did, please like, subscribe, share, and comment. And I'll see you next time with more cool stuff.